and you like a warmer gold eyeshadow, then go with this one. So like Janet, I have a pair of eyeshadows that I like to juxtapose. Juxtapose is a wonderful word. Combine, I was, I was going to say combine, but juxtapose. juxtapose. So I like that word in college. I paid a lot of money to learn that word. <laughs> so much more fancy. I love to use my Maybelline color tattoo in Barely Branded underneath my L'Oreal Infallible in Amber Rush. Perfect, perfect lip combo. Right I am. They look it's really good. Bang. They look good. Kind of use when you use Barely Branded as a base and then put Amber Rush on top, it's like a really foiled kind of lid color. Mm -hmm. But since it's sort of my skin tone, mm -hmm. it doesn't like scream, hello, look at me, metallic yeah. eyeshadow. So I really like this for fall, especially with the matte color in the crease. Nude colored products. Nude is good too, it's like a basic. It's like a black little black skirt or a little black dress, and you mm -hmm. can make it pop with your red lip work. Absolutely. What else would you wear with red lip? Big hair. Yes. We talked about how we have the same hair. So we do. It's we have the same hair and it's the ombre thing. We're just we're twin we're twin in right now. Must be in or something. <laughs> I was really excited that um, you asked me to do this today so I could share with you one of my actual I've used this maybe since like high school. Um, it is a physician's formula bronzer. Uh, I've explored the different colors. It comes in like four. This is probably the lightest. This is the Riviera Strip Sand Bronzer. I have spent money on the expensive bronzers, like the really nice ones uh -huh. from. You mentioned Laguna. Um, I think this is the best one, and it's only like nine or ten dollars. It comes in a whole bunch of different ones. So what's great is if I look, if I'm actually, if my skin's a little darker from tanner, I use more of the bottom ones. If I'm a little more on the pale side, I use the top. It's so great because it's got that pretty champagne shimmer, the pink one. I was talking about yeah. the different nudes. Absolutely. It's got all of them. Uh, and I put that right in the little. I use it a little bit as um, what's it called? The defined contour. contour. Uh, That's another fancy word we learned in college. Yeah, right? Yay, college! Big words. Uh, I use it as contour and I just keep going back to it. No matter no matter who uses what on me, I just think that one's the best. And that's interesting too that you use that as a contour because it's all shimmery and I've always used matte contour. Mm. It looks Now see, like... I think that much like the Urban one when it looks different when it's at different angles, uh, we talked about this today, different face shape and mm. I have cheeks. Like, cheek, cheek, cheek. So <laughs> if I put the same color shimmer up here and the same color, same color shimmer down here, they look like two different colors. Suspicious. Speaking of mascara that I yes. just don't live without. I, again, have, it's the CoverGirl purple one. The, I get it in, the purple one. The purple one. one. <laughs> I get it in waterproof. I get it in very, very black because that's what it comes in, like a very black. Mm -hmm. Again, I sometimes get given beauty products in my line of work, ones that are like those $30 I mean, mascaras I mean, that you stare at. <laughs> That's what I need to do. Whatever this is, free makeup for me. Not always free makeup, sometimes it's free makeup, but I'll take it. Uh, and I keep going back to this one because I think it's the best. And there, I, I can't, it just sickens me. It sickens me to see like mascaras on mascaras on mascaras on mascaras because I mean, how really could they actually, how different could they actually be? Also, I desire my lashes to look the same. Like, for me, I like them thick, long, separated. I yep. don't need to deal with more complicated things. No. And I, I, I am a big believer in drugstore mascara. Don't. The $30 one is not Don't different. buy the $30 mascara. Don't. There are like 500 choices in the, in the drugstore. I promise you there is one at the drugstore for you. And it is one tenth of the price. In my Just, experience, if you're going for a more glam work, spend the money on the fake lashes. Absolutely. And you can find those at the drugstore too. Things that are not nude. Ooh. Let's talk about not, not nude, nude things. <laughs> okay. So I have a couple eyeshadows here. Well, there's nude in there. But for fall, I really, really like green eyeshadow. I never wear it any other time. I don't wear it in holiday. I wear gold during the holiday. I don't wear it in the spring. I don't wear it in the summer. I only wear green in the fall. And I have two options here. One more fancy pants, expensive option. This is the NARS Eyeshadow Quad Earth Angel. And I like this one because it's kind of a mossy green and a little bit of a pinky taupe color. I don't know. And and again, they're sort of the same, like one is not darker than the other, maybe the green's a little bit darker, but when you put them on, they come off the same sort of tone. So you can, I tend to use them both on the lid with the green on the outer part of the lid and another matte brown in the crease. And I just think it looks really fun. option that I have is the Maybelline Stylish Smoke Squad and Emerald Smokes. There are a couple shadows in here I do not like. Actually, there's one. Which one's you, which one? I don't like this one. I don't like Ooh, the chartreuse thing. They call it the base color. But really, in the other, here's why I don't like it. I'm gonna take these out because those are mine. Here's the 
Here's why I don't like this color right here. This base color in the other Maybelline Smoke Squads is a highlight color. Like it's either a matte mm -hmm. creamy highlight or a like a shimmery sort of Can highlight. I touch it? Yeah, go ahead and touch it. But it's it's too green for me to use as a highlight. I feel like it looks a little maybe I can find some sort of other use for it, but just it looks a little sallow to me. The rest of the colors in the squad are fantastic. I love this. I don't ever use them the way they say they do. This says lid, this says crease, this says liner. Don't do that. That's silly. You can rules are meant to be broken. Absolutely. And you should mix something like this with I personally prefer to mix something like this with a, a nude or brown or gold or something a little bit different so you're not just like bam, green eyeshadow everywhere. But I love to use these colors in combination with things over a base, over a Maybelline color tattoo again to sort of intensify the color on the lid. And you can make a really fantastic smoky eye with this. I can see that. I like the dark color with the little gold. This is a new purchase for me as well. This is the, this is a CoverGirl lipstick. I'm pretty sure it's CoverGirl. Yeah. This is the CoverGirl lipstick in Smith I bought because Ooh. it is a nice dark, darker berry color that you can wear for every day. Because I, I think the vampy lip looks great on other people. I cannot bring myself to love the vampy lip. I love it on, like when I see it, I'm like, you go girl, that is fantastic. But uh, like, this is about as dark as I'm comfortable going mm -hmm. personally. For example of that lip, uh, you can check out the video that we did match up of a sweet nothing in Wonderwall, me and my little brother Noah. Ooh. That's on YouTube. I didn't know that video was there. Yeah. We'll link that. Rock uh, rock you rock know what, I'll link it over Janet's head. We'll link it. Link it. Up here. And Video that's fancier of our Atlanta Del, Atlanta Del Rey cover, which yes. also has some great makeup looks. I linked and retweeted the crap out of that music video. It is so yes. good. Uh, is Yves Saint Laurent. It costs too it just much. It sounds fancy. It is fancy. It costs too much. Um, my One of my like endeavors in life is to find the proper under eye. This is great because it's very slightly reflective. Um, I also try to avoid going too far and looking like the raccoon where they're just like white. I like to look real, I like to look healthy. She doesn't want to like, look like a Kardashian. I don't, I don't. <laughs> I want to look Although, like me, you know, but healthy. Get your contour on, Kardashian girls. You are contour good to go. she Con <laughs> con contour she Kardashian. I want to look real. And if there's a little bit of under eye darkness, I'm a real person. Everybody has it. Mm -hmm. If you don't have under eye darkness, Good luck. You forgot, your, you. you forgot your deodorant or you <laughs> have a weird pinky toe or something. <laughs> Alright everybody, I think that is all the stuff we wanted to talk to you about. Do you have anything else? I think we're good. Thanks for watching. Oh yeah, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed hearing from the lovely Miss Janet. I'm going to link all of her fabulousness all around the screen again. Thank you for having me. Oh, of course. I will have you anytime. I'm sure these guys We'll want to see you again. If you want to see Janet again, comment, like this video, subscribe, hit the subscribe button, subscribe to Janet's channel, Woo! and for music and things. For music and fabulousness and awesome things. I don't. Fabulosity. Fabulosity. That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> all right. We will see you all later. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.